So I, I know I haven't uh, done a voiceover in a while, and honestly, I've been wanting to do them recently, but I, every time I'm like either too busy or I just can't even think of anything to say. But this time, I feel like I really need to say stuff because it is, this one's very out of left field compared to the usual. And that's just because I wanted to try something different. Like, I've been, I, I'm not sure if it, bored is the right way to put it, but I want to experiment more with my art style just because I've been doing the same thing or what feels like the same thing for um, two years, basically, of like the exact same art style. Probably switched up actually like a year, I don't remember, I don't, whatever. But I wanted to do something completely different that is closer to the sketch style I've been doing in the community posts, just because I like it. It's fun. It's took longer than if I did the other style, but also this is way more complicated than what I would typically do for that. There's clothes and accessories and other stuff. No background, really. But that, that, that's usual, that's normal. So I thought I'd go over this is because I don't want people to think I'm going crazy or anything. But I did it similar to how I do those sketches in the community post. But I started off the same as I would for any other drawing. And then I did actual line work. Like I don't do that ever normally. In, in doing this, I was hoping to like, do all the stuff that I said made this more complicated with the accessories and clothes and stuff. I, I feel like my normal style I use is very limited in that, and that is probably just because I rarely do clothing with that style, so I've locked myself out of it. And hopefully what I'm drawing right now, YouTube doesn't pick on what it is, and I won't say what it is, but like... You can see what it is. Hopefully YouTube doesn't notice. It's not real, it's a drawing. And I should get into like why I made the character. As I've been saying, I wanted to get more detailed, the clothing, accessories, whatever. And I thought, what has all those things in abundance? And also I was listening to a song about uh, I smoke and mirrors, but like the smoke was from the thing that the character is holding that YouTube doesn't like. So uh, with that, putting those two together, I thought of Cowboy. And then I don't even know how, I've spent a while just thinking of how they would look, what their whole deal would be. And I came up with a, like a demon hunter who may or may not also be a demon themselves or half demon, whatever don't question the morality of this something something the horns hence the name horn hunter because they are hunting demons and then taking their horns as seen in the design with the horns around with the string attached to the boots on the hat and also like the belt buckle and the little hat Kind of like the belt buckle again, but the, the hat buckle, I don't know what to call it. But those all have the horns as iconography. And I also added some sort of sword slash curse blade slash magic blade, whatever, that I imagined them using to cut off the horns because, I don't know, demon magic needs a special blade. And already you can see I'm doing this completely differently than I normally would. Other than just the line art, I also did white as a base color, and then I'm coloring on top of it. And that is because the brush that I'm using is not fully solid. It is like mostly solid, it is slightly transparent though. Unless I were to push so hard I'd break my screen. For my drawing tablet, so. I just put wet under there so it would be the same flat color. I didn't have to do some weird predicting. I could just draw on it and not worry about it. 
would act the same no matter where I drew. Um, I tried, I can describe this now because I got all the colors in, but I tried to split up the colors evenly. So if you looked like from top to bottom, it would be like the same colors the whole way through. There's like the blue in the horns and the hat, and then it's also in the pants. I have the red in the hair, the skin, the bandana, the hilt of the blade, and then also it's hard to see, but the little bullet heads in the bandolier for the on the leg and the tail, all red. And then I have like the brown, similar to the red, but you know, more faded, whatever you want to call it. That's in the hat, inside the weapon that they are holding's handle. And then the sheaths, belts, boots, all the same color. And also the little spur bits on the boots. Pretty sure those are used to hold in spurs. Those are also a similar blue to like the, just all the other metals that are blue, the pants blue, the hat blue. And then I made the eyes green because I decided to add a color to pop by using it absolutely nowhere else. Can you really see them? Um, eh, eh, kinda, not really. You'd have to look close. And this ended up taking me in total, um, I believe just over two hours, which is kinda long for how I normally do the art, but it's like for this level of stuff going on, I'd say that's honestly pretty good for how I would typically do it. Now, is this perfect in any way? No, not even close. But like, is it good for rarely ever doing it like this? I like to think so. I also did try to incorporate some of my usual rendering techniques, but sparingly. Like in the pants, I kind of blended in how I would normally do it in some spots, just kind of near the hips, really. And later on, I do it in the shadows, but that's like right at the end. I also decided to go with cowboy just because easy background, little dust storm. You know what's happening. Because there was no way I was actually going to try to do a background, but I also didn't want to do the regular old, just gradient with some random shapes going on. Because I feel like that would be a disservice to whatever character I was going with. I also did the tattoo sleeve on the arm just to do more possibly magical or demon related iconography even though it's like not anything specific it was just a random design I put down trying to be interesting false intrigue just make it up if it looks cool it's probably cool and here's the part where I realized that these feet really don't make sense to me and like, I was kind of thinking that the whole way so I didn't really know how to draw cowboy boots from the front so I winged it and now I'm in doing the thing that most artists do with certain parts that they don't like trying and covering it up. No one needs to know, except you. You know now. Except it's not with a hand behind the back, it is with weird boots. But hey, I rarely draw that stuff. So I'm gonna cover it up like a coward. I tried, you saw, they were there. And now I'm adding smoke to the top. You know, just a little bit more dynamic-y, I guess, more interesting. And I wanted to do it going the other way, but then I thought, oh shoot, all the sand is going the one way, and the hair. I got it. the wind's clearly going that way. Don't mess up the smoke. I didn't. I saved it. The hat may be a little weird if it was actually being caught by the wind, but no, I think it's just one of those folding hats. That is just like that. So don't worry about that. That's uh, that's accurate. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing stuff in this style. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this does. I don't know. 
Thank you for listening. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good day.